Football is a numbers game, with every imaginable statistic tabulated on every play. But one number poses a threat to all players. Age. The average career of a professional football player lasts 3.3 years. The average age of a pro is 27 years old. So when you hear of a 41-year-old wide receiver, it stops you dead in your tracks. At 41, that makes him the oldest position player in professional football. My name is T.T. Tolliver and I've been playing professional football for 19 years. For Antoine T.T. Tolliver, age is just a number. T.T., I think T.T. is the timeless, ageless wonder. You know, like, if it was two people on earth, him and Jesus, he might be older than Jesus. <laughs> the road to 41 was no cakewalk for T.T., whose career began with several false starts and left turns. After committing to powerhouse Clemson out of high school, academic and eligibility forced him to play at Heinz Community College, where he then transferred to Bethune-Cookman University, constricted to playing basketball for two years instead of football because he briefly signed in the Canadian Football League, avoiding his NCAA football eligibility. Signing a CFL deal was something that I shouldn't have did, but I was advised wrong. And I talked to my mom, she was like, just go back to school. And I thought maybe just going back to school would take care of me playing college football. So. I guess by me signing the CFL deal, I kind of took away my college eligibility. So I just hoped that I got an opportunity. And then two years came along, I got a shot with the St. Louis Rams. I don't know how that happened. I, I just prayed on it. And the year of 2003 came along. Uh, I was with the Bucks for like, I want to say like 10 weeks, all the way to the Super Bowl that we won the Super Bowl. After bouncing from his surprise signing with the Rams to the San Francisco 49ers, to winning a Super Bowl with the Bucks, it looked like T.T.'s volatile early NFL career was about to start steadying with Tampa. It was great the time I was there, you know, the great John Gruden, man. He enjoyed coaching me and I enjoyed him. And uh, I just remember one day in practice, uh, him uh, saying that he was going to offer me a contract. And what he did, it was just so fortunate that I, uh, I did something wrong and it cost me a contract. Suddenly, T.T.'s NFL career had hit a standstill. But his tough luck wouldn't last long. After he was cut by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, he joined the Tampa Bay Storm of the Arena Football League, winning the Arena Bowl Championship with the team in 2003. He is the only athlete in football history to win the Super Bowl and the Arena Bowl in the same year. It was great to be a part of a Super Bowl championship and Arena Bowl championship with the great coach Tim Markham, man. And then, uh, the guy, he taught me a lot about the game, you know. He taught, first I had to start off at the defense specialist. Then I worked my way to receiver, and if it weren't for him, man, I, I just say that, man, he just taught me how to play the game of, of arena football. And and you see me right now, still to the day, I'm still playing it. If I, I, I feel like if it weren't for him, man, none of this would be possible. So I kind of give most of this glory to him, though, man. Under Tim Markham's leadership, TT's illustrious career took off. And a touchdown, T.T. Tolliver. T.T. Tolliver. Good gosh almighty, T.T. Tolliver. 17 years and counting, T.T. has become one of the greatest players in the league's history, a constant through every era of the sport. But at the twilight of his career, battling the uniquely physical demands of arena football at age 41, he faces a constant mental and physical uphill battle to remain great. I played against him ever since I've been in this league in 2011. And even then, when I was a rookie, he was the, he was the OG. <laughs> he was original gamer. And he's been able to sustain. You know, you got to be able to keep your body right. And for somebody uh, that age to be able to keep your body right in uh, through the beatings and the poundings and, and all season, continue to train and continue to have the mindset to go out there and want to be the best and, and still uh, produce you know, I, I tip my hat. You know, it, it's not easy. If it was easy, everybody would be doing it. I wouldn't be in this chair right now as director of player personnel. I'd still be playing if it was easy to do, but <laughs> I, I definitely tip my hat to him. It's just, just to see him out there at, at 40, you know, still making plays, man. Like, that's motivation for us, man. You know, just to see a guy at that age still out there doing it and still got love for the game and fire. I don't know how you ain't turned to dust yet, but now that I'm getting older, man, you know, back in the day, I was a young pup. I'd get out of bed, let's run. 
You know, nowadays, now I have to work out each and every day, seven days a week. I'm a guy who says it doesn't matter about your age, it's about the knowledge. You know, if you know the game, like the back of your hand, I mean, you can go out there and make plays at 60. I mean, the mental part of it is just dealing with my family are far away. You know, that's the only part. I miss them, they miss me, so it's just being far away from your uh, your girl and your, your son and your kids. Hey, I mean, it, everything is, it take two. So at the end of the day, once you have that that wife or that, that, that significant other there with you that support you, man, we just have that support, man. And that's the hard part. You know, a lot of us want to go get jobs, but at the end of the day, getting a job over doing something you love to do, hey, I'm gonna do something I love to do all day because people with jobs always say, damn, man, I wish I could play football. And I see, I don't wanna be that person. You could play football, you still get paid. And once you get that blessing to go off and play, man, that's all you need. TT's ride to AFL greatness took him far and wide. From video games to national TV to trading cards and droves of fans wherever he went. But one place it never took him was back to the NFL. It was my goal for a long time, but you know, at the point right now, being 41 years old, I don't even think about it, man. I just pray to God that I could pass it on to my little son. If he can enjoy being in the NFL, I feel like I did my job. I didn't do it. If he can do it, it'll be great because I feel like at least he finished something that I didn't do. You know, a lot of people look at football act like it's games. No, I mean, it's all about building a legacy for yourself. I step on the field, I want to. I want you to look back and be like, damn, number one, he, he when he stepped on the field, he gave it all he got. He played hard. You know, I want to be a guy that made a difference. He's made that difference. TT is number three in all-time touchdown receptions with 318 and counting. Number one in all-time receptions at 1,254 and number one in all-time receiving yards at 16,439. But what do those numbers mean to him? They don't mean nothing to me, to be honest with you. You know, I tell a lot of people I don't enjoy football, but they look at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> you know why? Because I'm so busy trying to be great, man. When you're trying to be great, you don't have time to sit back and enjoy and say, man, look at me doing this, look at me doing this. It's always a weird situation where you gotta grind, you gotta work hard. So I just feel by me trying to put forth that effort of working hard each and every day, I don't really get a chance to enjoy it. Maybe one day when I'm old and retired, I can sit back and enjoy it. But right now when I'm trying to work or build a legacy, I'm just at the point right now where I'm just all about working hard. I might not have the speed that I had 10 years ago, but you know, I still had a mind. I'm still sore, but at the end of the day, I love this game so much that I got to give, I give all I got, man.